Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It still blows me away at how many people don't understand that the internet is just one big shopping mile. It's just a very, very long mile of virtual stores that just go on and on forever, far past a mile. But, uh, you know, growing up, we had to drive all around town to find the things that we were looking for. And even when we did that, we weren't guaranteed to find the things that we were looking for. And for that reason, uh, it took me years and years and years to complete my Star Wars figure collection, which I still guess I have back home in Iowa. Uh, I could never find Hammerhead and ultimately had to trade uh, for a Hammerhead figurine. Uh, those Kenner Star Wars figures. Also had issues collecting things like Garbage Pail Kids, which I still do collect. But the nice thing is now I don't have to go to a specific store. I can order something online and just wait. And as a matter of fact, uh, when I was in Iowa uh, just recently, uh, speaking of, uh, I needed to find a flip camera at the last minute. So I couldn't get it online necessarily. I had to find uh, some local store that had it, and they were all sold out, and I'd have to go all over town and call and everything. just makes you kind of wonder. I mean, is there a way that these stores, these brick and mortars can adapt? Can they keep up with the convenience and ease of shopping on the Internet? And we came up with a, a list of ideas for the future of the brick and mortar, uh, we were talking about it here in the chat room at live.perillo.com and came up with, you know, ways that stores could come in to the 21st century. Uh, one thing, it's already being used in, well, other countries like Japan, authenticated mobile device payment and checkouts. So instead of having to stand in line and swipe a card or write a check and everything, you just have it authenticated with your mobile device and go click, 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 click. And then, you know, as long as, again, authentication, security, etc., you have paid for it. And imagine having a store that just took PayPal. Oh, gosh. Dream come true. That, I just, that, I mean, a real, like, physical storefront. I mean, an internet store can do it. But I'm saying an actual physical storefront. That would just be, that would be amazing. Another thing uh, that I believe is long overdue and sometimes you can talk your way through this with clerks, uh, instant price matching. So if you haven't done your research, uh, when you walk into a storefront, you could you know, quickly do a search on the web for, is this price of this keyboard cheaper? Ah, Amazon's got it $20 cheaper. Well, will you do instant price matching? Now, some of the retailers will tell you that, well, we can't match e-tailer pricing, but I think they're almost going to have to compete with it. Because if the price difference is that large, you'll look at them like it's the same model, and I can say $50 if I get it online. Are you going to give me that price? Uh, no, we can't do that. I'm like, fine, then I'm just buying it online. I'll walk. And in some cases, say, well, 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 we'll give it to you now, but you know, we'll, give you, we'll throw in this, or we'll be able to take this much off. So you may be able to use the Internet as a bargaining tool with certain stores and clerks. Uh, now, here's an idea that I believe, who, uh, was, was it Alicia came up with this? Was, uh, uh, was that? I forgot her name. She mentioned it here, and I apologize that I did not note the name. Uh, how about emailing your shopping list and having it ready when you get there? And I've even seen this in restaurants at times where they say, fax us your order, and we'll have it ready. I'm like, fax? Seriously? Um, email is just as easy to use. In fact, it's, it's a lot easier to use because then as long as you have the exact product name, uh, you could l match it directly with you know, an actual product in the store. Uh, imagine having a website where instead of just sending an email, you go to the website, maybe you log in or it's just you know, whatever, and you start typing things in. And as you type it in, you hit enter, it shows you a little box product. So it, 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 you type it in, like let's say you say... Um, a Hormel can of chili, eight ounce or whatever, and all of a sudden then it pops up, the image pops up, yep, that's what you want, okay, next product, uh, we need uh, brawny paper towels, how many pack, 12, and then it po the image pops up, so then you're able to verify it in line, you're like, yep, that's ready, hit send, you're off to the races. That'd be nice to be able to integrate that way, and I, I realize that there are some retailers that have online shopping, but it's just difficult, you know? It's not easy as it could be. And I think they need to really keep working on making it easier to deal with these traditional storefronts, especially with the power and accessibility of the Internet. 
Uh, here's another thing that some retailers have done, but we believe that it's just in the future of every brick and mortar, remote inventory checks. Solves the problem of driving across town or picking up the phone saying, yeah, do you have it? And even sometimes I'll go to a store and they say they have something and they don't. So it'd be nice to have a remote inventory check so that instead of having to shop and look for things, I could just say, here's what I'm looking for, press a button, is it in anywhere in these stores in the vicinity? But there's no website that does that. Google would just be doing the world a favor if it did that. Say, I'm shopping for this in that zip code. Who's got it? These people have 14, that person has one. I mean, you know, to be able to identify and save the time of going from point A to point B, and then even to be able to reserve it before you actually get there, it'd also be nice. You know, again, figuring out the bridge between internet e-tailers and retailers. And then the last one, uh, and I believe, oh, who was it? Was it Brent may have come up with this? Brent Spore uh, from iBoughtAMac.com? I think it was Brent. If not, if I'm uh, attributing impro uh, inappropriately, I apologize. On-site customized construction. So for instance, let's say you wanted to, um, you know, have a widget built. Well, instead of ordering it online and choosing your colors, et cetera, et cetera, you could walk into a store, go to the, the front, type something in or tell the uh, store person, and it's kind of like, okay, come back in an hour, it'll be done. You know, the on-site uh, construction of widgets or whatever it is that you're wanting to buy. And, you know, I guess the, the, the perfect example of this is dog tag stations, if you've seen these. Uh, you could plop in a couple of tokens, uh, choose the type of design that you want and the font and everything and then it just creates it on demand you don't have to order it it just does it right there and it's nice I like being able to do things like that I've even done the uh, Build-A-Bear workshop with Ponzi before oh hang on I'll show you hang on give me a second I'll go get the bears we got the bears it's the bears back here the Build-A-Bear is actually a lot of fun even if you're an adult we built the bears we built them. We built the bears. Here. Sorry. Sorry. We built the bears for for ourselves and our future kid. And here they are. <laughs> I don't know if I named mine. Although I made made mine a uh, mine's a geek here. And what was interesting, um, I, I built my geek bear and uh, the, on the shirt they're the planets, but Pluto is not there. So Pluto is already being erased from planetary t-shirts. So the Geek Bear and Ponzi's Fashion Bear. So we built the bear on site. We could have done this on the internet, but it was just much more fun to go and blow stuffing into the bear. And I know that sounds crazy, but if you've never built a, your own teddy bear, you just wouldn't understand, really. Anyway, uh, designing and customizing things, you know, pulling us out of the house, Creating an experience in the store would just be amazing. So what about you? What do you think? What's the future of the brick and mortar? How can they evolve? How can they grow? How can they better fit us, the potential customer? Be interested in hearing your thoughts? My email address is chris at uh, These two don't have email addresses yet. Uh, you're, of course, free to leave a comment. Uh, or, you know, stop by the chat room. We're typically talking tech. Uh, not, you know, talking about teddy bears is just not what we do, really. Uh, I mean, we got we, we're geeky though, so if you wanna you wanna have a uh, a good conversation about something related to technology, computers, hardware, software, internet, websites, tips, tricks, you name it, we're typically talking about it 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.